Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be of Jennifer Lawrence's Oscar makeup. Um, she won Best Actress at the Oscars this past Sunday, which I was really excited about because I thought she was fantastic in um, Silver Linings Playbook. So I was very excited about that and obviously as I'm a girl I get obsessed with looking at the dresses, the hair, the makeup. Um, so today's video is going to be of her makeup from the Oscars. I have kind of tried to do the hair, it looks terrible but um, yeah, um, I'm not very good at updos so <laughs> I don't mind my hair. Um, I've already started with my base um, which was a random mix of MAC Strobe Cream, uh, Dr. Jar Waterfuse BB Cream and <laughs> um, Chanel Perfection Lumiere Foundation and that is in the colour 32 beige rose so just for a really natural um, quite a light coverage um, but obviously with a lot of glowiness there because we don't want to look flat so I use those three products um, on a Real Techniques X I think it's an expert yeah and a Real Techniques Expert face brush okay so I've obviously done my skin um, I've got a few little blemishes um, but what we'll do is we'll get started with the look. Um, it's just a really nice grey smoky eye um, with like no bronzer which I'm quite scared about because I don't know how it's going to look on me but um, no bronzer just like a little bit of blush and pink lips. She looked absolutely incredible and um, just like really natural, really fresh, really young so we'll get started. Okay so as you can see I've done my base so I've just got like my freckles and stuff coming through. Um, next thing I'm going to do is um, use MAC Painterly Paint Pot which looks like this. It's just as an eyeshadow base. Um, so I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. So that's going to help my makeup, the eye makeup stay in place which is what you'd want at the Oscars. You'd want the makeup to last because the ceremony itself is like what four hours or something like that it's crazy and obviously they've got to walk the red carpet and all the after parties so eye primer is a must um so i was looking through my collection and i don't really have any gray eyeshadows um just because i don't really tend to wear them so i'm gonna be using from the naked palette and it is the last color in the palette which is gunmetal which is this color here so i'm gonna and I'm going to be using a Real Techniques base shadow brush, which looks like this is a bit dirty. <laughs> so I'm going to put that all over the lid. Just going up to the crease and slightly above. Jennifer only seems to really have like one colour on her eyes, on her eyes. Um, I'm just going to blend this out with I'm just going to blend this out with a um, MAC 224 brush just to soften the edges because whilst it's quite a, a smoky eye the edges were really well blended so I'm just going to go in circular motions back and forth onto that And I'm going to go in again with a MAC, I think it's a 239 brush. It's just a flat brush like this, just to really pack on the colour. By using a more dense flat brush, you're going to get more of the colour onto your lid. So just dab that around. And then go back in again with the blending brush. make sure that all those edges are nice and and well blended any fall down we can get rid of later so the next thing I'm going to do is just go underneath my um, lashes with whatever's left on the brush so we're just gonna this is where you're gonna add the smokiness so add a little bit more onto that So 
just needs to just sort of get it quite close to the waterline. Just sort of get it so that look like I've got one side more than the other, but we'll we'll sort that out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take an eye black eyeliner. This is a Lancome crayon. So it's a coal one, and it's just a black. So we'll just use this. So we're just gonna first of all do my upper waterline, which a lot of people find a bit scary. I do tend to prefer to put it into my eye and then close my eye and rub it back and forth just to make sure it goes on. Okay, so we're starting to really smoke up the eye now. Okay, so um, for this, because we want to keep this quite soft, um, I'm going to be going back to the Naked palette. Whee! This colour here called Creep. Um, just So I'm just going to use that to um, just do my top line. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a MAC 266 brush, which is just a nice angled brush. So I'm just going to go put eyeshadow all over the top line, right near to the roots of the lashes. Like that. Okay. This isn't really a look for gel eyeliner. Um, I mean, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just thickening out the line. Yeah, this isn't a look for gel eyeliner because that would be a little bit too harsh for what we're going for. Going back in with my uh, base shadow brush, I'm just gonna blend that out. This side needs winging out slightly. And then go back in. Okay, so my eyes are a little bit too smoky, but we're going to clear that up anyway afterwards. Um, right, so using my Shoe Mirror Eyelash Curlers, I'm just going to curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm going to use the new Max Factor Clump Defy False Lash Effect Mascara. which has got this really strange sort of double end, double sided brush that's like curved slightly. Um, I really like that. So um, I've just done a review of that on my blog so you can check that out. I'll put the link below. So what you want to do with the mascara is to really accentuate your end lashes. Because um, Jennifer's eyelashes were a lot thicker towards the end. I think she probably has some individual lashes on, but I don't have any of those. So we're just going to go with what I've got. And then we're just going to put a little bit on the bottom. Oh. Kind of the eye makeup going on. It's a little bit too smoky underneath, so 
I'm just going to use my Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in 3 Medium and a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to uh, sort that out. And then just on any sort of spots, I've got a few little blemishes coming up. Just around my nose. I'm trying to look for a blush um, that was just like a really soft pink, and the one that I got was um, Fleur. Power by MAC which looks like this. It looks a little bit bright. This is such an old blusher. Um, but I'm just going to use it like, quite sparingly on the cheeks. And I'm going to be using a Real Techniques. So I'm going to be using a Real Techniques blush brush. So what Jennifer had was it was on mainly on her cheekbones and then went up slightly. It did go quite high up into her cheekbones. Okay, for lips, I couldn't really find a lipstick that was going to be perfect because it did look like she was wearing a gloss. So I'm going to use the Bourjois 3D Effect Gloss in Brun Poetic, which is number 33. Put that all over my lips. Just a really nice pinky sort of beige colour. It's more pink than than a nude. Then I put loads of that on there. Finished look. I just grabbed some dangly earrings because I couldn't actually find any similar to hers, but thought I'd add to the look. Uh, yeah, the hair's not looking great, but um, the makeup. Um, yes, yeah, so it's pretty much just a grey smoky eye, no bronzer, just a blush on the cheek and um, a nice pink lip gloss. So I hope you guys liked that. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below. Um, and yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun doing it. Um, I love the makeup and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!